Hello all, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net on Perl scripting. This session is for file handling using Perl. As usual, in any language, you need to open the file and close the file. You need to give a file handle for each file. If you are opening multiple files, the file handle must be like FH1, FH2. Usually, the, it's not a mandatory convention is to give the capital letters for the file handlers. It's not a must. Again, the second thing is the argument where you give in a quoted string a plus symbol denotes reads. Okay, plus is for read, then greater than for write. Again, this this is for input, less than for input. If you use two greater than symbol, again it is for write and append. So we have to give if I want to give read and write, I want to I will give plus and the greater than symbol. Then your file name. Uh, be careful whenever you are giving a backslash, you give two backslashes as an escape sequence. So right now I am trying to open a file in a read write mode. So this plus is for read and this greater than for write mode. If the file does not exist, it will create it. Now what I am going to do is, so first open, finally close. In between I want to write something, I simply say print fh do not give a comma. Now I am going to say this is first line in file. Then I make another line. This is uh, second line in file. So we have got open statement, two print statements on the file handle. So it will directly write to the file. Now let us execute this Perl 6.pl. Perl p6.pl. It just came out. It's no problem. If it had got an error, it will show. Right now it has not shown any error, so that means it is successful. Let us say dir myfile.txt. It's there. Then let us type it. Type myfile.txt. It says my. This is first line in in file. Immediately after that, this is second line in file. Now. If you want to change it, I will have a backslash n. Okay, I will have a backslash n. Then save this. Execute it once again. Now let us do this. This is showing in the first line. This is showing in the second line. If you notice now, this is the we have used plus and greater than symbol. So if the file already exists in the write mode, it will remove the content. Okay. So instead, if I want this to be not to be cleared before it starts writing, that means I want it to be appending, then use this two greater than signs. Now let me execute the Perl 6 once again. Let us use the type. Now you see previously it was having two lines. Now it has appended those two lines. So if you want to append, use two greater than symbols. If you want to simply write, use one greater than symbol. If you want to read, use plus symbol. Now this is like giving the output to the file. Now I want to give the input to the file. Okay. Now I'm giving the less than symbol. That means from the file, the input comes here instead of this print statement. What I'm going to do is I define an array at l equal to just give the file handle. If you use to the greater than symbol, less than symbol, that means user input. The moment you put that here, it means take the entire file input, load into this array. So what I want to do is very simple print file content backslash n print at l okay so what i'm trying to do is i read the file content i open the file in read mode in the input mode i load all the content of the file in an array then i print that array so whatever is in the file it will come to the array 
always make sure that you close the file okay let us execute it once again pull p6.pl now if you see here file content it read the content into the array then it is showing that array content so if you type the same file type my file.txt it's the same thing so we give a print statement file content then it is coming from the array so it is very easy to handle files using Perl so you have plus for read greater than for write less than for input and read read only mode greater than greater than for write and append mode so always make sure that you give different file handles for different files always make sure you close the files before you exit the program thank you